Today, dear friends, we celebrate the Mass of the 18th Sunday in the Ordinary Time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear friends in Christ, we join in the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass today as we do each Sunday to give praise and thanks to Almighty God and to thank Him especially for giving us the great mystery of the Holy Eucharist, the bread of life, His own body and blood. With that in mind, let us acknowledge our sins as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you satisfied the hunger of your people. Lord, have mercy. Christ, you feed us with this blessed sacrament. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you invite us to the banquet of eternal life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <clears throat> Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. <clears throat> you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. <coughs> Draw near to us, your servants, O Lord, and answer our prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading for the book of Exodus. The whole Israelite community grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The Israelites said to them, Would that we had died at the Lord's hand in the land of Egypt, as we sat by our flesh pots and ate our fill of bread. But you had to lead us into this desert to make the whole community die of famine. Then the Lord said to Moses, <clears throat> I will now rain down bread from heaven for you. Each day the people are to go out and gather their daily portion. Thus will I test them to see whether they follow my instructions or not. I have heard the grumbling of the Israelites. Tell them <clears throat> in the evening twilight, you shall eat flesh and in the morning, you shall have your fill of bread, so that you may know that I, the Lord, am your God. In the evening, <clears throat> quail came up and covered the camp, and in the morning a dew lay all about the camp. And when the dew evaporated, there on the surface of the desert were fine flakes like hoarfrost on the ground. On seeing it, the Israelites asked one another, what is this? For they did not know what it was. But Moses said to them, this is the bread that the Lord has given you to eat. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Our response to God's word, the Lord gave them bread from heaven. 
The Lord gave them bread from heaven. What we have heard and know, and what our fathers have declared to us, we will declare to the generation to come the glorious deeds of the Lord and his strength and the wonders that he wrought. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. He commanded the skies above and opened the doors of heaven. He rained manna upon them for food and gave them heavenly bread. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Man ate the bread of angels. Food he sent them in abundance, and he brought them to his holy land, to the mountains his right hand had won. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. A reading for the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, brothers and sisters. I declare and testify in the Lord that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do, in the futility of their minds. That is not how you learned Christ. Assuming that you have heard of him and were taught in him, as truth is in Jesus, that you have put away your old self of the former way of life that you spent, corrupted through deceitful desires, and now you have a renewal in the spirit of your minds. You have put on the new self, created in God's way, in righteousness and holiness of truth. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, amen, I say to you, <clears throat> You are not looking for me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that, etern that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father, God, has set his seal. So they said to him, What can we do? to accomplish the works of God. Jesus answered and said to them, this is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. So they said to him, what sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. So Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. My dear brothers and sisters, in Christ. <clears throat> Every week as we join in Mass, as you will remember, we pray in the prayer of the faithful 
for the young men and women in our armed forces, especially those from our parish, that they be protected in safety. We have several young people from our parish who have recently joined the Marines and Army and Navy and Air Force. And when I write to them, I always tell them that you are praying for them at Mass. When I pray for them, I call upon the help from heaven of a Marine chaplain who is now called Servant of God, the first step on his way, please God, to being canonized as a saint. I have spoken to him often before, and I encourage you to learn about him, to ask for his help from heaven, and to pray that he will be declared a saint. Father Vincent Capodanno was a New Yorker born and raised in Staten Island, ordained as a Merino priest. During the height of the Vietnam War, Father Capodanno volunteered as a Marine chaplain to serve the Marines there in Vietnam, many of whom were not much older than 18. He was close to them, particularly to the recruits who were called grunts, and they affectionately called him the Grunt Padre. Most of the time, Father Capitano offered mass in the field, often on the back of a jeep. One of the Marines who was there was Henry Hernandez. Years later, <clears throat> he wrote about, about his experiences in Vietnam and about how much of an influence Father Capodan was on him. He said this, I knew I might not make it back home, and I wanted to get closer to God, so that if and when the moment came, I would be ready. Henry describes Capodanno's Mass. It was my second tour of duty. We were outside and Father was offering the Mass. And during the Mass, he held up the consecrated chalice in the air and the sun hit it and it just shined and reflected in the sunshine. And as I looked at the chalice, I said to myself, God is here. God is here with us right now. Not long after that, Father Capadano was killed by enemy fire as he tried to help a wounded Marine. That was in 1967. And after all of these years, Henry Hernandez never forgets Father Capadano holding up the chalice of Jesus' blood on that battlefield so far away. And he does not forget saying from his heart, God is here. God is here with us right now. Dear friends, I mention Father Capadano for two reasons. I ask you to pray for our servicemen and women and ask for Father Capadano's help for them from his place in heaven. That is the first reason. But a second reason is this. In the Gospel today, and in the Gospels for the next few Sundays at Sunday Mass, we will be listening to our Lord's words about the great mystery of Holy Communion. As the Lord says, the food that endures for eternal life. At every altar, in every part of the world, on the altar of this beautiful church of ours, and on the altar on the back of Father Capadano's Jeep, 
On every altar, the Lord Jesus comes again. The Lord who was there at the altar in Vietnam to strengthen Henry and assure him that he was there, that same Lord is here with us at our altar, offering himself to us as the bread of life who will strengthen us on our path to heaven. At every Mass, when the priest says the words of consecration, the words of Jesus at the Last Supper, this is my body, which will be given up for you. The Lord Jesus comes there to be our food and strength. And when the Lord comes to the altar, we can truly say Henry's beautiful words. God is here. God is here with us right now. That young Marine knew that he needed Holy Communion to go on to face danger and to find hope even in the midst of all of the suffering that he saw around him. And we need Holy Communion just as those Marines needed Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. Let nothing prevent you from receiving our Lord in Holy Communion. Make every effort now that things are better in church to come here for that basic reason so that you can receive Holy Communion at Mass. And when you do, when you walk up to the altar, to receive the sacred host, you can say the words of that young Marine. Jesus, you are here. You are here with me right now. May God bless you all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Join in our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstance with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, standing in God's holy presence, we present our needs before him saying after each of them, Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Archbishop Timothy Cardinal Dolan, and all the leaders of the church, <clears throat> that they will help us to grow on the path of holiness and truth, we pray to the Lord. As we hear in the Gospel today of the Lord calling himself the bread of life, 
we will remember how blessed we are to receive him in holy communion. We pray to the Lord. As we celebrate this week the feast of St. John Vianney, the patron of priests, we pray that the Lord will bless the priests of our archdiocese and the seminarians who are preparing to serve us as future priests. We pray to the Lord. For our American servicemen and women serving throughout the world, particularly members of our parish, that they will be protected in safety, we pray to the Lord. For doctors, nurses, EMTs, and healthcare professionals, that they will continue in their vocation of serving the sick and the suffering, we pray to the Lord. For those who are sick, particularly those suffering the virus, and for our beloved dead, we pray to the Lord. Let us offer our own prayers in silence. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your people. Guide and protect us in our journey of life, and one day bring us safely home to your King. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, <clears throat> Lord God, the whole of creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash away my iniquity, O Lord, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, and accepting the offering of the spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. For the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us eternal life. And so we join with all the angels and the saints to praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The Lord Jesus now comes to this world to change bread and wine into his body and blood. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray. 
by sending them, your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the Lord of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray <clears throat> that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit <clears throat> to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command, and formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our God, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said here, Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body of Christ keep us safe to return the life. Amen. We invite you now to welcome our Lord in spiritual holy communion to your heart. Before we come to the final prayer and blessing, we give thanks to God that we have joined in the holy sacrifice of the Mass today. As I said earlier, we encourage you, of course, to come to Mass here so that you can receive our Lord in holy communion. Make your best effort to come to receive our Lord in this blessed sacrament. We pray that the Lord will continue to bless you and your family with safety and good health. Let us pray. Accompanied with constant protection, O Lord, all of us whom you renew with this heavenly gift, and in your never-failing care, make us worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat>